Hello, I'm Svetlin Nako from SoftUni, the software university, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this episode, I will be talking about UI and component libraries that provide ready-to-use UI controls and program components, and software frameworks that provide a technical foundation for developing certain types of apps. Both libraries and frameworks speed up software development and are used every day by millions of software developers, so you as a developer should understand these concepts very well. In this session, I will explain the main difference between a library and a framework, which in short is the following. Libraries extend your app by plugging in a software component in it. They use the traditional, the normal program flow. Frameworks are foundations of functionality, which developers extend to build an app. They use the inversion of control program flow. Finally, I will explain the concept of inversion of control, IOC its purpose in modern software development. I'll give you an example how your frameworks take the program execution flow and call your code through events when the user interacts with the user interface. This is an inverted program flow, IOC. Are you ready? Let's start with the topic of libraries, frameworks, and inversion of control. User interface. UI technologies and front-end frameworks are powerful tools for building client-side apps for web, desktop, mobile, and other environments. These technologies change fast over the time, but many concepts and patterns behind them remain similar. Such concepts include a tree of components, like the DOM tree, inversion of control program flow, event-driven approach, message-driven communication between components, state management, data binding, and many others. Graphical user interface, UA uh, systems, provide forms, dialogues, and many UI controls for desktop and mobile app development. Development environments often provide visual UI builders to speed up UI development for certain UI toolkit or framework. Unlike web technologies, GUI programming is usually platform specific and the skills are not directly, directly transferable from one platform to another, for example, from Microsoft Windows to Apple iOS. Example of UI toolkits are Windows Forms, XAMO and WPF, which are created by Microsoft. Uh, for the MS Windows platform and Qt, uh, which works in Linux and is also portable to other operating systems in graphical environments. Mobile UI uh, toolkits and frameworks provide structure, programming, uh, model, um, UI controls for building mobile apps. Mobile UI toolkits why are platform specific and different between iOS, Android, and the other mobile platforms. But many concepts from these technologies are similar and once a developer learns one mobile UI technology, it is easy to learn the others. Examples of UI toolkits are Apple UI toolkit, which comes from Apple and is used to build iPhone and iPad apps in the Swift language. Android UI, uh, which comes from Google and is used to build native mobile apps in the Java language. And Flutter, uh, which is UI toolkit also from Google, designed to be multi-platform and it supports Android, iOS, web and desktop app development with a single code base written in the Dart language. Web front-end frameworks and HTML5 libraries provide structure, programming model, and user interface elements for building web apps. Um, 
These frameworks and libraries significantly speed up the development, improve the maintenance and the quality of the front end. Examples of web front end uh, UI frameworks are Angular, which is a popular and very powerful end to end web front end framework maintained by Google, React, a popular library for building component based web front end user interfaces, developed and maintained by Facebook, Vue.js, a popular web front end framework for building single page apps, and Meteor a popular development platform and UR framework for web front-end, mobile and web apps. Examples of web front-end UI libraries are Kendo UI, Censure, XJS and Onseen UR UI. All these are libraries holding ready to use UI controls that simplify and speed up front-end development. We mentioned many times libraries and frameworks. Both are tools to simplify and speed up software development and both provide ready to use functionality for build uh, and building blocks that developers use in their apps. Libraries and frameworks uh, are similar concepts, but there is a conceptual difference between them. Let's now explain the difference. Libraries provide components, functionality, and UI controls for integration into existing apps. Libraries use the traditional program flow. The app controls the library components and invokes their functionality from time to time. Library components act as extend as extension to the app. This is illustrated at the diagram on the right. Examples of libraries are a UI control library, which provides many UI controls such as calendar or image slider, an Excel reader library, which can open and read Excel spreadsheets. Development frameworks are foundations which developers extend to build an app. Extend to build the app. Frameworks, uh, the framework controls the app and your life cycle and your code plugs into it. Frameworks use the inversion of control, inversion of control program flow. The framework takes control and invokes your code from time to time. Your code acts as an extension to the framework. This is illustrated at the diagram on the right. Examples of frameworks uh, are a UI control library, sorry, uh, a web MVC framework or like Spring MVC or Django or Laravel and ORM frameworks uh, like Doctrine, Entity Framework and SQL and LChain. In short, libraries provide components and these components are plugged into your code to implement certain functionality. Frameworks are app foundations and your code plugs into them to extend their basic functionality following their programming model. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. 
get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers, get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now, softuni.org.